Some places are for making memories, some are for preserving memories, and yet other places are for both. Tonight we go along the way to a sparsely populated part of Wyoming where there's a place just like that. Sundance, Wyoming has a high altitude, but not a high population. Still, this is a place rich with hard work and history, perhaps nowhere more evident than back in the 20s when they built the state-of-the-art Crook County High School. 1923, they started building this building. The sandstone came from the Bear Lodge Mountains out of a quarry. Mountains you can see just over the left shoulder of the school. They hand cut the stones right out front here so they would haul them from the quarry in chunks and they would have a mason out front uh, making every piece fit individually uh, around the windows, around the doors. Rocky Kershane is the director of the Crook County Museum and a key part of the group working to restore this place, now known as Old Stony, to its former glory. It opened for class in 1924. Crook County is a large area and there were kids out of Moorcroft, Hewlett, Beulah area that wanted to further education, but it was too far for them to travel. It was a day's ride on horseback and they just couldn't do it, so they opened the boarding houses here in town. There were other high schools in the county, but this one had electricity and indoor plumbing, both cutting edge at the time, and they offered college prep courses for the college in Spearfish, now known as Black Hills State University. This is the stage in the auditorium on the third floor. It was the auditorium for the county high school. Uh, the band played from here. Pam Thompson is the chairman of the Crook County Museum District and another passionate player in the effort to renovate Old Stoney. And they took the drop ceiling down and we were quite surprised to find the pressed tin ceilings and the trim all the way around, which it's our intention to keep and fill in the spaces. It's, it's gorgeous. Over the decades, it became both a high school and elementary until the school closed in 1971. Rocky attended second and third grade here. We were the last third grade to hold class here. And at the end of the school year, we picked up our desks and hauled them out and we were sent to the basement of the courthouse to continue our fourth grade. A bit ironic since that same spot, the bottom of the courthouse is now where he works as director of the county museum. Area residents formed a heritage association to protect Old Stoney from the eventual potential of being torn down. In 1985, it was added to the National Register of Historic Places. The school sat unused and deteriorating for a couple decades. It has always been the, an icon or a crown of Sundance. Back in 1923, they were so proud of it. But Old Stoney was in bad shape when another group stepped in to spearhead a renovation. Significant progress has been made all over the building, including the rafters. You can see original Black Hills timber. We are losing too much uh, of our history of buildings like this, of things that remind us where we came from. After a decade of fundraising and countless hours of work donated by volunteers, there is an end in sight. Rocky expects the building to be at least partially ready for move-in by early 2019. The lower floor would include offices that could be rented out. The main floor would be the new home of the museum, and the top floor could host all sorts of community events, from music to art to wedding receptions. You know, Sundance is nestled in the between two mountains in a beautiful little valley. And this building will be the crown of our Main Street. Yeah, right now it sits at the head of Main Street, overlooks the whole downtown area. And to revitalize this building is gonna revitalize the town. If you've met someone cool along the way, please call or email us to let us know. And believe it or not, Old Stony was, when it was built in 1923, and still is, in 2017, the tallest building in Crook County. Well, that's a great statistic. Um, great building. So glad they didn't tear it down. And fun to see a community pull together and save something like that. Absolutely. Yeah.